Good morning, Kevin here with Apple Drains. Today we're in South Charlotte working on a downspout drainage system uh, to kind of mitigate water from a neighboring property. We've got a couple of downspouts. There's a typical swell between the two houses. We're just gonna collect that water and discharge it closer to the street. Let's go take a look. You can see a pipe that's coming out of the ground and that's from the neighboring property. We've got a typical swell in between two houses. This is pretty common. Uh, across construction around Charlotte and, and other places in the United States. We've got a number of downspouts here on the left side of the house that we're going to connect in. There's six total downspouts that we're going to mitigate today. Two on the back, two here on the front left, and then two on the other side of uh, the stairs and the front entrance. We've started to prepare the area. We've got plastic down. We marked everything with a white line so that when 811 came out, they knew where we were going to be digging. You can kind of see that we've got power there. That's a, a red line for power. Gerald started up against the house and he's now working backwards away from where he started. That's going to allow him to, to remove the material and maintain a, a straight line so that we can bury the drainage line. We're in the back corner of the property here and there's actually a foundation drain that's subsurface that we're going to connect in as well. You can kind of see that downspout or a corrugated pipe just kind of coming out of the ground. That's from a foundation drain. We're gonna make sure that's connected to our drainage line. We've got a large downspout and a small downspout, as well as that foundation drain that we're gonna connect in here in the back corner. We've got a downspout here on the left side of the front door that we're gonna connect in. And there's two pretty good size uh, landscaping bushes that are kind of in our way. So, you know, whenever you get to a situation, you can always go through those bushes but sometimes it might just be a little bit easier and a little less trim into the, to the landscape to just go around. So what we've done here is we've kind of cleared the mulch back a little bit and we're slowly working our way around. Sometimes you're gonna run into different cables. This is either you know low voltage electric or it could be a sprinkler cable. We're gonna bring that around. Then we're going to make our way over here to the main drainage line that pulls water away from the area. It's a solid pipe. We don't use perforated, surrounded by gravel for discharge. We only use that as a collection method. It's about 11 a.m., so we've been on site for a couple of hours now. We've got the majority of the digging done, so we're just kind of working our way, connecting our different pieces. We've got a connection up there to the downspout. These two guys are doing a great job with the main discharge line. We've already connected this back corner, so all we got to do is run our pipe and do a little cover there. We call this tool a spoon and what it's used to do is, is basically spoon out the dirt that's at the bottom of your trench. When we're using corrugated pipe, you don't necessarily need it to be wider than four inches. You need the depth. So we come through with a pickaxe and a shovel here in North Carolina with the clay and then we just spoon it out. There's two different ones. We've got a five inch and a four inch. If you're going to be doing corrugated pipe, we highly recommend that orange four inch. Sometimes we use PVC and N12. So we do have a five inch on hand in case we need a little bit of extra dirt to be exposed. We just finished excavating the left main drainage line for this home. So we've got four downspouts and a foundation drain that are all gonna be connected and they're gonna discharge right here onto the curb and then down the hill to the storm drain. So I'm gonna kind of show you what we did. We've excavated by hand. Everything's with a shovel, pickaxe, spoon. That line's going up over to the left side of the entranceway. Everything's got a slight grade back. 
I mean, these guys back here are already working on covering up. Tamir's working on our two downspouts over here. There used to be a tree right here in the center that they've had ground down. Ultimately, we're making our way over there to the driveway. We've already started burying the drainage line, and as you can see, it really doesn't even look like we just came through there with a the trench. So we'll rake it out a little bit more. This homeowner will bring some mulch in, and it'll look like we were never there. These two guys are working as a team to pull the plastic up. Part of the reason we use the plastic is you're able to grab a lot of dirt really quickly and pull it back on top of your trench. These two guys are gonna pull back this piece of plastic and kind of show you that if you got an extra hand, it goes by a lot quicker. You're looking at probably 20 shovelfuls that we're able to move instantaneously and cover up. We rake to the center and then we remove some dirt off of the top. We've got these back down spouts completed. We've got the main drainage line going all the way out towards the street. We've raked to the center and have removed a good bit of dirt off of the top. All of this will settle a good bit. Anytime you excavate, 
you break up that red clay and that red clay has got to get resettled and recompacted. Right there in between the two bushes, a little bit more raking, won't even look like we were there. And then we've also finished over here now. Got a downspout connection there, a downspout connection there, and it all comes to a pop-up emitter right here on the driveway. And the water should come out and go right down the driveway. As you can see, we've already covered and we started removing some dirt off the top via a wheelbarrow. We're wrapping up this job. Again, this is Kevin in Charlotte, North Carolina for Apple Drains. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos. We put these do-it-yourself videos out there for you guys. This is all stuff that you could do. Just take your time, little by little, and the project will get completed. Have a great day.